Isaac Newton once said, What we know is a drop, and what we don't know is an ocean. Good day, Einsteinatics! We will be focusing all our brain cells in exploring Isaac Newton's laws of motion. We will be delving with the concepts of force for starters, and stepping it up with law of inertia, acceleration, and law of interaction. I'm Sir Janus, your guide towards learning all these concepts. Gentle reminders before proceeding. Feel free to pause the video anytime to soak up the concepts. Pause the video, especially when answering the assessments or activities. You may use separate papers for your answers or you may download the module provided by the link on the video description. And most important of all, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will be updated for more educational videos. You should always remember that the primary cause of change in motion is Answer would be both. It can act as an at it can cause motion or movement, stop a moving object, third one can change the shape, change the direction, and for the last one, it can make an object move faster by adding more force on the object. To have a clear understanding as to what is friction, gently rub your hands. 
what have you observed? You might have noticed that eventually they get warm, meaning there is a resistance to the rubbing motion. Now, what is the name of this resistive force called? It is now called as friction. When we talk about friction, this is a type of force that always acts in the opposite direction to which an object is moving and slows it down. And what causes this force? Your hand might look smooth, but on a microscopic level, they have rough surfaces. So when you rub your hands together, you feel the resistive force of friction. An essential concept about friction that you should always remember is that friction always acts in the opposite direction to which an object is moving. It always opposes the motion of an object, thus causing it to eventually stop. An object will only start to move if the forces applied to it are greater than any frictional forces. Question, what is the direction of friction acting on each ball? So you might have noticed that it always opposes the movement of the object. To have a clear perspective as to how force works and its effects, one must use or utilize force diagrams. Force diagrams uses arrows to show the forces acting on an object. The direction of each arrow shows you the direction of each force and the size of each arrow can be used to compare the sizes of the forces. Usually, um, these are written using now the net force or the force acting on an object and is usually expressed in newtons. When dealing with objects at rest, it is always important to remember that it always has a force acting on it. Let us take this one as an example. What forces are acting on the computer? As you can see, the computer is pulled downwards by the force of gravity and causes it to have weight. The table, on the other hand, exerts an equal and opposite force pushing upwards on the computer and this is called the normal force. These forces are balanced, so the computer does not move. Essential concepts when dealing with balance and an unbalanced force. If the forces on an object are balanced, the object will continue to do what it's already doing without change. Specifically, if it is stationary, it will remain stationary. And if the object is moving, it will continue to move at the same speed and in the same direction. On the other hand, if the forces on an object are unbalanced, two things about the object can change. First, the speed. The object may speed up or slow down. And last one will be the direction of motion. Quick questions. You will only be given 30 seconds to answer the following. First question. If an object is stationary, meaning at rest, and unbalanced forces act on it. What will happen to the object? For 30 seconds. Okay, the most probable answer would be the object will start to move. Its speed and direction will have changed. Next question. If an object is moving and unbalanced force act on it, what can happen to the object? So another 30 seconds for this one. So, the most probable answer for this one is 
the speed of the object can change, it might speed up or slow down. Newton Here is a real-life example of Newton's first law, the law of inertia. This is the reason why authorities always remind us to wear seatbelts. This is because of inertia. When the car going at 80 km per hour is stopped by the brick wall, your body keeps moving at 80 km per hour. Let us 
So let us have it in a vacuum. So kindly look at what happens. You could clearly see that the ball and the feather are falling at the same rate or at the same time since gravity Example of Newton's uh, third law are how birds fly. As you can see, birds depend on Newton's third law motion. As the bird pushes down on the air with their wings, the air pushes their wings up and gives them lift. Thus, the law of interaction. 